when he was running for office in the summer of 08, it was quite remarkable to me that in July, he went off to Afghanistan to have pictures taken of him with the troops. That's obligatory for any presidential candidate. He brought along with him Jack Reed, a Democrat from Rhode Island, and Chuck Cagle, a Republican from Nebraska. It is a 14-hour flight from Andrews Air Force Base to Kuwait City. In 14 hours, Obama kept asking the two of them questions. Hegel had fought two missions in Vietnam, wounded two Purple Hearts. Reed was a West Point graduate, no service in Vietnam, but very much absorbed with the military after Vietnam. Obama's questions focused on one issue, and that was Vietnam on that 14-hour flight, which I found most remarkable because he's going off to Afghanistan. What's in his head? At his first National Security Council meeting, two days after taking over as president, he begins his statement to everyone by saying, we have to remember that Afghanistan is not Vietnam. Why did he say that? No one, I mean, Dick Holbrook was there, but Holbrook had not yet begun to address the Vietnam issue. Why did he say that? It's on his head. The first major action he took, send 17,000 troops to Afghanistan. Why? Because the word in from the CIA was that the condition in Afghanistan at that time and building through 08 was very precarious and we might lose it. And he did not want to be the Democrat responsible for losing another war.